So today we are going to discuss what an energy plus object is. <clears throat> so energy plus objects are programming pieces inside energy plus program that execute certain functions and for example this fan is an energy plus object this DX cooling coil is an energy plus object this air loop is an energy plus object so all of these are objects and they have certain programming code associated with them that includes inputs the inputs are the items that you adjust on the side here for this object and there are outputs as well and we're going to discuss today how to figure out what each one of these things do so for example let's look at this fan here you can see right here on the right hand pane it says OS fan constant volume and if you want to find out what any one of these inputs does or what it's for you can go to the energy plus input output reference and you can go to the energy plus website energyplus.net documentation and there's a lot of documentation for energy plus but in particular we're going to be looking at the input output reference which is this document here so we are looking at fan colon constant volume so let's just type that in in the search here fan colon constant volume and it finds the fan constant volume object in the table of contents and we'll just click the link to go directly to it and here is where it describes this object this object models a constant air volume fan that is intended to operate continuously based on a time schedule this fan will not cycle on and off based on cooling heating load or other control signals and it goes on to, to tell you what the inputs are the name of the fan the availability schedule name and it describes what that schedule is used for the fan total efficiency pressure rise maximum flow rate and it keeps going down to the end end use subcategory and it tells you what each one of these inputs does and also it tells you what the outputs are for that object the outputs for this constant volume fan are electric power fan rise in air temperature and fan electric energy similarly you can look at any object and you will see the energy plus object name up in the top of the properties pane so we can look at coil heating gas and we can look up coil heating gas to find out just exactly how this object is used by energy plus I'm sorry coal heating gas it's not clicking the link So we'll just click this link here. And it will tell you exactly what all of the inputs are for that particular object. Same thing with the outdoor air system. 
If you're interested to find out what all of these inputs are in the input, the, the properties pane on the side, all you have to do is look up this keyword in the Energy Plus input output reference. And for the outdoor air system, it has one input, which is name. But for the controller, outdoor air, there's a lot of different inputs and outputs. And if you want to know what any one of these is used for, you just have to look at the Energy Plus input output reference. Thank you. Please like and subscribe.